Hey, you guys come on in for another episode of the You Say What Show. Come on in, you guys. Happy, what day is it? Thursday. <laughs> you don't know when I'm going to post, honey, but I'm going to post. I'm going to post, just don't know when. You guys, go ahead. Before we get started, click the bell for notifications. Give the video a thumbs up. Also, comment, engage with me down in the comment section, and also share the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free. Cost you nothing. The cheapest thing you can ever get in your budget right now is this channel. So go ahead and subscribe, you guys. We have a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about the queen here. We're going to talk about Ray J and Kim Kardashian. Want to give you an update on Brittany Griner. And also, let's talk about Aaron Spears and uh, Tiffany Haddish a little bit here. You guys, the queen is dead. Queen is dead. Okay. All righty, you guys. So... <laughs> I feel this thing today, you guys. <laughs> you guys, the queen is dead. Let me tell you something. This funeral was about 11 days long. Yeah, you got it right. I said 11. 11 days long. This was by far the absolute longest uh, funeral I have lived and witnessed. Uh, 11 days. That's a long time. You guys, honey, take me to the king. Baby, they tooted this woman around. They done went down Wilshire Boulevard. They done went down uh, Red and Road. They came up around 38 and Capitol Avenue. Spun around the Vine and Mitchell. And then brought her up to King's Highway. You, you, I, every city got a King's Highway. It's called Martin Luther King Drive. And then finally, for God's sakes, dropped this woman off. Dropped her off. I said, my God, I know she was tired by the time. Let, let me tell you something. I, I, my goal in life is to uh, live a great life, treat people right as I want to be treated. So when I die, I do want to be celebrated. But my God, let me go. Honey, I'm living to see the Lord. Let me go. Don't scoot my body around. Man, I know the horses was tired. The people was tired. No, people better get back to work. They done took off all them days. And you down there on the street corner waiting for the queen to come by. They done heckled, uh, what's his name, Prince William. Talked about him like a, a dog. Some guy heckled him uh, and said some, you know, derogatory things to him while he was walking in his grandmother's funeral procession. I said, the ghetto of it all, honey. Melga Markle, or whatever the child name is, uh, uh, wore an outfit like the dead daughter-in-law of Prince, I mean the dead daughter-in-law of the Queen Princess Diana. She mimicked her outfit. Uh, they had issues with seating arrangements and didn't want this person to sit here and sit there. I said, my God, this family is ghetto. Honey, the ghetto of it. I, who, I, I felt like Nene Lee's. Who child to ghetto? So ghetto. So petty. Uh, uh, Prince William didn't hold his wife's hand, didn't open the door for her. Remind me of Trump. And, and then Prince Harry opened the door for his woman. Everybody was saying how he's more of a gentleman and this one isn't a gentleman. I said, who? Now, let me tell you something. When you go before the queen or anybody in dignitary, there's so many, especially the queen, there's so many uh, things that you have to do out of courtesy and etiquette and, and bowing and all of that different stuff. But you ain't teach your grandsons to open up the door for their wife or hold their hands or... or Y'all miss all of that, but if I go over there, I got to curtsy and bow. Y'all know my knees is bad. I really can't curtsy like that. You know, curtsy and bow and, and all of that different stuff, and and I got to do all of that, but he ain't know to open up the door. Child, that family. Who child to ghetto? Clutching invisible pearls. I should have worn some pearls today, y'all. That little family kind of ghetto, y'all. It's ghetto. So we gonna see what Prince Charles does on his end. Uh, we know some things about Prince Charles from the past, but baby, uh, I'm glad we're not under the British monarchy. Uh, you know, America ain't that great, but eh, I don't think I wanna set up underneath that man. 
So, we did our time with Trump. We'll see where that go. Hey. So, you guys, let's talk about Ray J and Kim Kardashian. I really think... Okay, so let me, let me tell you what I found out, you guys. Kim Kardashian became famous uh, for her infamous sex video. And the sex video was with Ray J. Brandy's brother. And so, they... Uh, Something came out to say that Ray J was the one that released the video. Now, mind you, both of these people have moved so far past this particular incident. Kim Kardashian got what she wanted. She wanted to be famous. She wanted to be rich. She married Kanye West. She got some beautiful children. I don't know how many. I know one of them is named Northwest, Northeast, Southeast. She got beautiful children. Uh, she's got a, a video game, uh, which is really really popular the video game was and pounds and pounds of oogoos and oogoos of money so why they would bring they had a tv show uh the kardashians had a, a tv show she's been on the runway she's been on red carpet she done been everywhere honey fashion uh you know a fashionable person been on magazines so why they would bring up something old as a sex tape that you use to become famous years ago is beyond me. Maybe they need to stay relevant. Maybe they didn't feel like they was relevant enough. Now, Ray J got a little singing career, got a couple of little songs. I, I wish I, uh, what was it? One Wish. You got One Wish. He was just on Versus. Cringe. Didn't do too good on Versus, but he had his little TV show called The Family Business with his sister Brandy, his mom, his dad, all of them. You know, he's, he's got, uh, I think earplugs. He makes earplugs, which I heard are really good. So he's a real good, savvy businessman. He may not be booming in the music industry anymore, but he's a really good business person. Check him out. Ray J got some got some coins. He's so he's pretty stable. So he's minding his own business, the business, black owned business that pays him. So they bring this information out. So it must have enraged him like, y'all really gonna put this on me. So, they put it on him that he released the tape. I don't know if they're trying to make Kim Kardashian a little bit more relevant right now. Uh, she has kind of dwindled, you know, uh, just, just some. I don't really keep up with her that much. But you don't see her out there when you're scrolling in video land. You know, you're scrolling on social media. You don't see Kim Kardashian um, out there for her outfits or anything. You know, she broke up with Kanye West. They're getting a divorce or whatever. It is what it is. So, they said that he did it. So, what he did was decide to pull out some receipts. Honey, Ray J got receipts of conversations and agreements and contracts. But, y'all, guess who? I mean, I live a pretty peaceful life and don't like a lot of drama. But these folks, these folks got money, money, money. And just be in more mess than a little bit. You notice they they are they regular people when it comes to the mess. They just happen to be people with money. Come to find out, guess who put the whole scheme together for the video? And he got receipts of conversations to do it. They mom, Chris. I guess that Shapiro money had ran out in between Bruce. And she needed somebody to do something. So this woman tells her daughter. I'm going to let that soak in for a minute. Her daughter to do a sex tape. They did not one, not two, but three sex tapes. One was in Cabo's. Another was two other locations. Let her view them baby and she chose which one she felt was the safest paid them for it and released it and that ain't some old selling out let me tell you something a lot of people want to be rich i'm one of them i ain't gonna lie i want to be rich but there are some things and i said it in the video before i'm not gonna do these folks are willing to sell out their children. How? Now, I've, I know that 
by proof of evidence through grandchildren that at least two of my children done had sex. Two of them done had sex and I know of for proof because I got grandbabies and they ain't just pop up. Now the other two, I don't know because ain't no kids, but I don't want to know. One thing I do not want to see ever in life, two things. I don't want to see my kids having sex. And I don't want my kids to see me by mistake or something having sex. But to tell them to go and do it, film it. She didn't, Chris didn't film it. I don't know who filmed it, man. I don't know. But it was filmed, and then you view it. You sick. You desperate. It screams desperation. It screams exploitation. If that woman wasn't uh, grown, if Kim wasn't grown, you need to be in jail for that mess. Exploiting them. And it worked. But at what expense? What expense? Why you didn't take your little old tail and go have a sex tape? Probably wouldn't have sold, but you did it for the money. You had to. There was no other reason to do it. So that she can get some notoriety. Because what was she doing before? And besides... You know, dressing and, and having an opportunity to make video games and all of that. What was the whole family doing before? Honey, I, I just, these folks will sell their souls to get money. So Ray J's talking about suing them because they're lying on them. And he got received. Let me tell you something. When you put something, typing stuff in these little comment boxes and DMs and whatever that, that's a receipt. That's forever in stone. So he had a three, four part something video of him showing receipts of what's been done. I guess they just really wanted to be relevant. They wanted, because the Kardashian show ain't out no more. I never watched it. I think I seen a snippet of one video and Chris wanted to get her earlobes um, pulled up because I guess years of wearing earrings made them sag a little bit. I said, you are ridiculous. You got way too much money at the expense of your daughter to be worrying about earlobes. Honey, I, I just can't. So that was the situation. That That's what Ray J and them. Nasty. Ugh, they nasty, honey. These folks, these families is, is, is ratchet. Ratchet, honey. They try to put that on uh, the black community. No, it's a ratchet folks from other communities as well, you guys. Move right along. Update on Brittany Griner. Ain't nothing popping. Ain't nothing popping. President Biden talked to her family. I don't know if he went to their home or if he just talked to them via FaceTime or whatever to reassure them that they're still working. America has sent over um, an offer to Russia for her and another guy. I think his last name is Waylon or something like that. Um, Russia has not responded. So with that, he just kind of comforted them, told them that they're still working to get her home. And her wife is saying she can't wait for her to, you know, finally be able to come home. So this family is still in limbo and she's still just sitting. Sad situation. Don't know how that's going to turn out. Um, keep praying for sis. Keep praying for that some type of way, something to happen that they will respond move through all this red tape, bull crap, pawn, political mess, um, really changing this girl's life on, for an agenda that she ain't even a part of. Just happened to be a part, well, she is a part of, but just because she was in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, got caught up in something that's absolutely bizarre and crazy. So, you guys, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears. Tiffany Haddish, now let me ask you this, has settled out of court. And because she has come to an agreement and has settled, then the records are sealed and no one can talk about it and is not open to the public to go see what was actually done. They did not give a dollar amount of what she settled for. She apologized profusely for even being a part of it in any type of way. Um, the two children, one of them is still a minor, came and said that 
Tiffany was a great uh, person in their mom's lives. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't have anything. I just sued you for exploiting me for sex. And then I'm going to say you was a great person. You just happy you got the money. You just happy you got the money because I would not have anything good to say about that woman right about now. And do you feel that settling is an admission of guilt? Michael Jackson settled. Never, I don't think he was never, he was indict, indicted but not convicted because he always settled. Is settling a, a, an admission of guilt? It's an admission of guilt. So we're going to see what Tiffany Haddish uh career kind of goes after this and if the records are sealed and the public can't view it then is she going to sweep this under the rug and not say anything to her fan base about what happened because if they can't talk about it I'm quite sure she can't talk about the details either but Ari Spears said now he did not settle um, I don't know how much Ari Spears net worth is I don't know but he did not settle. But he did say on somebody's podcast, it was either his podcast or somebody else's podcast, that he thought his career was over before. Harry Spears was struggling before. He was, you know, popping at one time. I think in the midst of all of that, with the new comedians coming up, I think Harry Spears is really um, knew his time was up or whatever and became bitter. That's why you see Ari Spears, if you watch him, because I, I wasn't a fan, but I watched him. Um, he came out when he was 16 or something like that on Def Comedy Jam, young kid and all. So I think what happened was when the upcoming Kevin Hart's and all of those different people started coming to the forefront, he became a little bitter. Because if you watch a lot of his interviews, he always has something negative to say about the new comics that are there. So his career was dwindling down. And he did make the statement and said, and now with this uh, coming out, I do believe that my career, we could take it to the graveyard. And he's pretty much right. Because people were kind of over him anyways. And this just kind of put the nail in the coffin for Ari Spears, but who knows? Who knows? But he has not settled. He's still saying it's a shakedown, but Tiffany got shook, honey, and she paid the money and moved on. Uh, well, we'll try to move on. We'll see how that goes because I'm quite sure people ain't going to want to endorse with you um, and have you sponsor their products and things like that with that stigma. I, I mean, it's kind of taboo in Hollywood to get busted for that, but yet and still they do it all the time with kids. Ha, <laughs> go figure. You guys, that is the end of the You Say What show. Leave me some comments down there. Let me know what is going on with you guys, how you feel about some of the topics that's out there. We ain't doing no, honey, we ain't doing no sex tapes. And my God, they, they dropped the queen down in, in the ground. If she was even in that casket, honey, because all that toting around, I don't see a body for 11 days. But maybe they got some special stuff over there. Who knows? <laughs> you guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give the videos a thumbs up, you guys. Share the video with friends, family, thousands of people, you guys. <laughs> and have an amazing day. And we'll see you on the next time when I post. Peace out. Bye.